Okay, everybody, here's part three of uh, my collection. This is a, another random Avengers box. It's just got a lot of mixed stuff, a lot of event comics that tie into Avengers uh, books, things like that. So <clears throat> let's just go through it, just random stuff. So the third box of of uh, Avengers, yeah. Okay, let's start with uh, here. Here's some Punisher stuff. Put it in this box because it was just it's random Punishers that I have that are tied into the the Dark Reign event or the Secret uh, uh, Invasion event, things like that. So this is a variant edition, issue number five. I like it because I'm just shooting the, the Green Goblin. Pretty cool. Uh, issue number four. There he's going after the hood. Uh, this is actually probably one of my favorite from this Dark Reign um, era. Is is this? The, the cover is really awesome too. But this particular book is just awesome. I loved it. It just shows the brutality, the 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 violence of Doc and and, and actually how effective he is. Um, where he just sh rips, literally claws the Punisher to shreds, and then which eventually leads into the uh, the uh, Franken Castle kind of stuff. So this was a really really good book <clears throat> for the Secret Invasion. So that's War Journal number 25, War Journal 24. Uh, what's this one? And issue number one of the Dark Reign, of course, which looks like the first appearance of Punisher, they kind of, you know, mock that cover, it's variant, it's pretty cool, I think, issue number two, issue number three, that's a variant edition, okay, we got some, uh, what is this, Fear Itself, Italian stuff, Invincible Iron Man, and, and I did like the Invincible Iron Man, Fear Itself stuff, it was pretty good, and Fear Itself, uh, you know, it was, it was a pretty fun event. So here's issue 503, here's an issue number one, one of eight of Alpha Flight, um, here itself, I can't remember whether I have all of those or not, pretty close if I do, issue number 17 of Avengers for that, issue 16, issue, or no, sorry, this is a uh, book seven of here itself, they say just got stuff quite mixed up between all the Avengers, but at least I do this, uh, I have to move my whole entire collection uh, into the basement, and uh, I try to make the conditions as optimal as I can down there for my books, uh, with with the exception of a few boxes that are going to stay up upstairs. But uh, so that's why I'm doing this, and I get to uh, you know properly uh, you know catalog everything in my uh, current collection. Okay, so we have book. What is this? This is the Fear Itself Prologue, Book of the Skull, some Uncanny Avengers. This is issue number ten, and I like this, of course, after. Dawkin died, he did come back as one of the four, four uh, horsemen of Apocalypse, and I currently don't know uh, what is up with Dawkin anyways, I'd like to know, but he hasn't been in any comics for a little while, so like I say, that's issue number 10, really great art here by, uh, what's his name, oh, why can't I remember his name, it's not doesn't start with Gabriel, does it? No, I know the name, but of course, information always seems to elude you while you're in the middle of a video, but great cover. I uh, don't think I have all of the Uncanny Avengers stuff either. It didn't overly appeal to me, I was just only getting it because Wolverine was in it. Um, but yeah, I kind of stopped it eventually. Uh, so there's 16, 15, number 14, 13. Uh, this is, uh, of course, when the... Uh, when we got the uh, Marvel Avengers um, Lego video game, I wanted to get the Lego variants, so I got four or five hanging around somewhere, and they're really cool. Of course, I got this one because it's a Lego variant homage to another uh, Captain America book, where it's all these the same characters, same kind of pose, but you know, all on Lego. So that's pretty cool. And issue number eleven of that. Okay, so here again, random ones. Uh, here's a couple of connecting covers. Uh, issue number one of Siege, um, the, the the one shot. So Loki, as you can see, that one connects to that one of Young Avengers, and Young Avengers connects to this one, Siege Secret Warriors, and then I think I probably showed it to you in another video because these ones, they're not quite. Yeah, or no, are they? Do they connect there? I can't quite see the arms. They kind of look like they connect a bit, eh? I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, it kind of looks like they do connect. Yeah. 
Just the elbows don't really uh, match up or whatever, but everything else kind of looks like it. So that's uh, Siege Captain America, and then Siege Captain America 2. This one right here, Spider-Man, and I can't remember whether there was another one uh, to that one or not. I can't remember. Those are all the one-shot one shot Siege. Here's some Dark Reign Fantastic Four stuff. So that's one of five, we got two of five, three of five, and uh, don't know where the four is, probably in one of those other Avengers boxes I've already shown you, <laughs> and five, I know I know, I have them all. Uh, Dark Reign, The List, uh, yeah. of course when you know Norman Osborn took over as director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he had a few people on his list that he wanted to take care of. Um, <clears throat> Dark Reign, Hawkeye, five of five. Don't know where the other Hawkeyes are, they're probably somewhere, I know I have them all. If I remember, I probably showed them who <laughs> in the other uh, books, or they're probably in another random box somewhere. But yeah, I got those. Man, oh man, this is a time when I, I collected just every single tie-in. Um, a lot of good stories, but man, would I spend a lot of money on every single tie-in ever possible. <laughs> with some of these large events, with the Siege, the Secret Invasion, and... Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's Origins of Siege. You know, and some you just didn't need, but they were still okay to have. Uh, Siege, Storming Asgard, Heroes and Villains. Uh, one Shot, Siege the Cabal. Here's some more Siege tie ins. We have Thor 608, Thor 609. Some more Dark Reign stuff, slash Dark Avengers stuff. Dark Avengers was pretty cool too. I, I kind of liked that one. Um, so here's. Issue number six. And of course, I was getting the Dark Avengers because, um, you know, Norman Osborn being the Iron Patriot, that was really cool. Him being, you know, taking over uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. at the time. And um, was it. Uh, who was. Who was the Venom? Was it Mac Gargan? Mac Gargan was Venom. And of course, Dawkin being the, the Wolverine on the Dark Avengers team. Pretty cool. Uh, issue number nine. Issue number ten. I like this cover. This one's an interesting cover. Issue number 11. Issue 12. Ah, we have a director's cut. Pretty cool here of Siege. That's awesome. I think just a little extra stuff in the book for you for the director's cut. I'd have the both the regular cover and, and uh, this issue as well too. Here's Siege issue number 2. Siege number 4. Siege Embedded 1 of 4. Siege Embedded 3 of 4, Siege Embedded 2 of 4, and Dark Avengers 13 with the Sentry on the cover there. Another Sentry, uh, Sentry symbol cover, that's 14. And yeah, he was pretty crazy, Sentry. He's, a, you know, he's like a psycho Superman, basically. Dark Avengers number 15, 16, Thunderbolts 142. Here, which is this, 141 of Thunderbolts Avengers Initiative. 33, 32, and 61. I mean, if you can get all the tie-ins, and it was really cool, um, I mean, if you can spend the money on that, but I mean, I just kind of got bored of just reading every single thing that, whether it mattered to me or not, um, and I kind of exhausted myself on that, uh, but I mean, if I have the money, who knows, I might do that again just for collecting purposes, but um, not at this moment, you know, just collecting what really matters to me, what's really going to... Uh, impact me as a reader the most, try to get the most uh, um, value and uh, entertainment value out of it for myself. Okay, let's move on to another stack here. <clears throat> a couple more stacks and then I'll show you a couple of the highlights of this random Avengers box. Okay, so we got here Secret Invasion, Invasion Frontline, that's a four or five. I know I'd have all those. Here's a couple of Civil War stuff, Road to Civil War. Uh, this was like a checklist book here. And on this side, just an opening shot sketchbook, um, preluding or uh, uh, before the actual event. Uh, some secret invasion infiltration tie-ins. We have Miss Marvel here, beautiful art. Greg Horn here. This is issue number 27. Illuminati, five of five. What if secret invasion? That's a one shot. And one of three of Fantastic Four secret invasion. Black Panther, 39 for the secret invasion. Number 40, we have Scrolls vs. Power Pack. Just fun, I mean, in, in the midst of a very serious type of storyline, you have these funny little stories with the Power Pack, so I know I have all of them somewhere. This is issue number three of four. 
one of four. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, two of three of the Fantastic Four. This one is another really funny one too, the Franklin Richards, Son of a Genius, not so Secret Invasion. That one was funny too. Secret Invasion, who do you trust? We have Secret Invasion 3 of 8, 1 of 5 of the front line, another Skrulls vs. Power Pack, 4 of 4, and that's pretty funny, Pack Life, yeah. 2 of 4 of that, another front line, 2 of 5, and 3 of 3 of Fantastic Four Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion issue 2 of 8, we have the one shot of Skrulls, I still have a blank variant somewhere of Secret Invasions. Um, the number one, another beautiful cover here by Greg Horn. But eventually I want to get some kind of scrawl esque hero uh, drawn on that eventually. Uh, six of eight of Secret Invasion. Eight of eight. And I really like Secret Invasion. I really did like the whole thing. The whole story was really great. Another beautiful cover here. That's really cool. Wolverine against that, that uh, scrawl Spider-Man. That's cool. That's number seven. Here's issue number four. We have number five. Another front line here. Three of eight. And Secret Invasion Director's Cut. Really awesome. That's cool. Mighty Avengers 25. And of course, like say, you see the, the commonality and the stuff that uh, I've been showing you in these Avengers boxes. A lot of the tie-ins stuff go together. So a lot of Dark Reign, Secret Invasion stuff. So part of the Dark Reign story. You have 25 here of Mighty Avengers. Number 26. This is a different series here. Mighty Avengers issue number 6. Part of the initiative. Uh, Heroic Age Avengers number 1. The New Avengers number 1. And then this is just Avengers uh, issue number 9. The Avengers. Another new series. Um, again, I think this is a connecting cover. I'd have to look uh, back in a few. I don't have this whole series either, but for the first few issues at least. Secret Invasion Avengers, the initiative number 17. Let's see, what do we got? Love that cover too. Look at the, the scrolls here. Look at that scroll looking over there. That's pretty cool. So that's number 45. 53 here. Nice one too. Venom and uh, Wolverine. That's 35. <laughs> Issue number 18 of that. Here's another. Funny story here, and Zalbin, as you see that name right up there, Zalbin, he was part of the um, comic book club here on YouTube, and I think he wrote one other short story in the back of a Hulk comic, I think it was, um, and somewhere I do have some of his signed stuff, I'll probably eventually show you, but yeah, he was pretty cool, because like I say, he was uh, one of the first YouTubers, it was a group of three that they did comic book reviews, you can probably look them up here on YouTube, comic book club. Um, yeah, and they kind of in inspired me years ago to start doing some of my own reviews. So it was kind of neat to have his books. So I think I have all of them. Yeah, two. This is issue two of four. <clears throat> Here's uh, issue number four of that Avengers. Issue number three. Uh, Uncanny Avengers. Number one. New Avengers. Let's see, we got 57. Issue number eight. Dark Avengers Annual. Uh, yeah, with what's his name? No, no, something. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Return of the Illuminati. Here's the Avengers issue number eight. Yes, Red Hulk, the general. Uh, that's issue number seven. From the Heroic Age here, we have the new Avengers issue number two. Avengers 10, with, uh, of course, Ramita, Ramita Jr. art. It was actually pretty good. I, I did enjoy this series. Uh, here's issue number 42, uh, issue 29, number 15, Mighty Avengers, uh, 14, this Avengers Initiative, 41, yeah, 13, 12, 14, 40, 33, 59, Mighty Avengers, the epilogue to Secret Invasion, this is issue number 20, uh, issue number 7 here, uh, again of the uh, Ramita, Bendis and Ramita books here, that's issue number 6, here's issue number 11, issue 58 of this series, and 30 of this one, and last we got issue 31. 
Okay, so to finish this one up, like I say, very random. I am trying to organize my collection, so when I put them downstairs, um, I'm able to um, access them easy and understand what's in the in the books when I'm when I'm organizing. So um, yeah, <clears throat> a lot of the stuff besides my Wolverines, a lot of the stuff I got in boxes are just completely random. So <laughs> it's sometimes a surprise to me at the moment right now too. Okay, so this one I know I bought quite a while ago. It was kind of uh, from my childhood, and I had to rebuy it. Just love the art, the picture, um, and as I recall, the story was Ari as well too. But just beautiful colors and, and art. I love this one. Spirits of Vengeance, issue number six. Uh, got this one, of course, crossover with Ghost Rider and the X Men. I thought that was really cool. Wolverine. Uh, let's see, that's issue number 27 of that Ghost Rider. Alpha Flight. I don't have all Alpha Flights. I don't know if I'll ever complete Alpha Flight. It's probably a series. I probably should, but uh, yeah, probably be a, a long time before I end up doing that. But here you go, first uh, first issue of that. Oh, here's a random. I think this came out of a comic, uh, comic book movie. I, I think it was one of the Blade movies. Oh yeah, probably right here. Blade Trinity, it's saying. Uh, so it's just a little mini comic that I put in my own holder there, so it just wouldn't get banged up. Probably, me, I don't know if it's a new bag or something in there. The cardboard here will affect the corners of it, so maybe I should check that out. Uh, but yeah, so there you go, Blade uh, Night Stalking. Got that instead of movie Fantastic Four 256. Why did I get this? I know there's probably a reason, and now I, I do start usually writing notes in the back of the books, which I should have done then too, but I can't remember. I can't remember this is a uh, why I got this. If anybody knows the specific reason, if there's a special reason to this book, let me know in the comments below. I'm guessing maybe... Well, what's his name? It's a Nihilist, but I'm thinking... For some reason I'm thinking that story that was called uh, Secret Wars 3. I'm not certain, but I have it for a reason. <laughs> so if there's a special reason, uh, let me know. Okay, Daredevil 174. And I got this because there's another reason, there's another special reason, something about, it might have been about the the ninjas as well too. Um, it was a tie-in for something, I cannot remember. And and I know I've done it, shown it in a, a video like quite a while ago, but another special reason why I got this one, I know that. Okay, this one, I think this one was one of the first um, where the hand ninja was shown. I think I showed a Shogun Warriors issue number one. For some reason and said it was it that might have been the hands first appearance but I think it's actually this one I'll have to double check on that stuff but that's the only reason why I'd have that Just some other random stuff here nice cover by Magnolia here Alpha Flight issue number 33 another Alpha Flight point one before they started the new short-lived series uh, Daredevil as well issue 181 a nice cover here. This one's really cool. Captain America uh, Annual versus the Wolverine there. Get that cover. Another Alpha Flight issue number 13. Here's some oldies but goodies. A uh, couple of copies of Jigsaw Bolt uh, issue 1 and 2. This is one of the first Jigsaws before um, Ron Fortier's character, the Jigsaw. Um, so yeah, just really neat. They're kind of beat up but they are uh, complete. So yeah, big hero. I can't remember what year is it. Is it's got to be in the 60s? It's probably got to be in the 60s for these two issues. So big hero adventure from Harvey. Harvey Thriller. Yeah, see, I gotta put more notes on my books. So don't forget this one. Daredevil. Of course, got it because Daredevil uh, and Wolverine. Uh, needs a new bag. But uh, I like this one because it's basically got to. Uh, the wrong claws right here as you see it looks like he's holding the guy up with his arm but it looks like the claws are coming through the bottom of the fist so some some uh, whoopsies there on the art and then the last couple right here the contest of champions which is there is a new contest of champions book coming out so uh, I really don't know much about that one but here is the original Marvel superhero contest of champions issue number one beautiful covers too and we have issue number two and three. Definitely need some new bags in here. There you go. 
Okay, so hopefully you guys liked that. It was very exciting for me as well too. So that's done with my random Avengers boxes. Next, going on to some DC stuff, which is very little, but hopefully you guys enjoy. And we'll see you around in the next video. Bye.